what's up guys hope you're doing well really appreciate you checking out the video so I know it's been a little bit since I've posted um, I've had a baby uh, we've had holidays we've had the new year all that kind of stuff um, and most of you know I don't do this full-time so just getting it in where I can um, I've installed quite a bit of parts on the truck still in the process of some more new stuff yeah the weather's been sucky so today from the title obviously you can tell I want to talk about chainsaws and it's kind of fitting because this time of year especially in the winter um, there's a lot of storms that roll through especially where I live in the Ozarks we get a lot of down trees so this is your best friend so we'll talk all about the chainsaw how to mount it um, different solutions that I've used in the past um, the one I'm using the mount I'm using right now is just bomb proof so I'll share some details with that but yeah it's good to be back it's been I don't know maybe like month month and a half break for me on youtube yeah like i said got more truck parts um that i'll update you guys in future videos and stuff uh, i have something amazing coming to the channel um when is it going to be april ish i think uh so that's going to be really cool um it's going to change everything on the channel so not selling this so don't don't worry i don't think i could ever sell this thing all right real quick before we talk about the chainsaw I want to give a huge shout out to a company called Cadence Collection right here. I'm wearing their hoodie. Um, they're a cycling company um, that makes really, really high-end clothing and cycling gear and stuff like that. And if you know anything about me, um, before I did off-roading and YouTube or whatever, I was a big mountain biker and skateboarder. Here's my bike. I haven't ridden in like forever, but I go every now and then and skate every now and then. But anyway, uh, Cadence Collection did a collab with um, Coors Banquet, the beer. Uh, you know, if you guys know me, I love Coors Banquet uh, so much, actually, in fact, that uh, I have Coors Banquet resis on my Dobbison suspension, and uh, I always keep Banquet in stock. But anyway, all that to say, um, they're doing a massive sale on the, the rest of the collab merch that they have, like 50% off. So they have hoodies, t-shirts, hats, uh, maybe like beanies, some socks, like all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I'll put some stuff on the screen so you can see what that looks like. But anyway, so it's half off and then I'm going to have a discount code that you can use on top of that. So you can literally get this stuff dirt cheap. And it's it's seriously the coolest stuff whether you bike or not. So check that out. The uh, info will be all in the description and everything, my code. So check that out and it's going to go live, I believe, February 10th. Um, but don't quote me on that the description will have everything correct and perfect. So yeah, um, that's that, check that out. So now let's talk about the chainsaw mounts and all the things. So you're either watching this video for one of two reasons. You know you need a chainsaw and you're trying to find a way to mount it on your overland rig or you know, you do I need a chainsaw is your question. I can answer that last one easy. You don't need a chainsaw if you're not in the woods or you're not doing extended long travel where you're covering different kinds of terrain and stuff like that. I mean, like if you're out west or, you know, in Moab or whatever, you'd be an idiot. Like, I think, you know, you know, you have common sense. You don't need a chainsaw. So don't just slap a chainsaw on your rig because you think it's cool. I can't tell you how many times I've used this in the Ozarks just about every time I go, no matter the time of year or anything, especially after a storm. I mean, I'm cutting stuff all the time. Um, so that answers that question. The mounts, this is probably a question I get asked all the time. So for a mount on a chainsaw, there's, there's a few solutions, but this is the cheapest. Um, honestly, can't remember how much this one was. This is a Colton um, chainsaw mount, and it's basically got, this is all custom bracketry I made, but it kind of has a little bracket and you can kind of figure out how to put it on you know your bed rack your swing out whatever and uh basically it opens like this you put the blade down in here and it's got this foam kind of stuff put it back and uh you know you cinch it down so this is by far the most common chainsaw mount and i've seen a lot of people run these and they're great um in my case the custom bracketry i made right here just some aluminum like angle um you can see that top one completely broke it just it just cracked off and broke um and that was when i was on a really big long trip going through i guess a bunch of vibrations in the road and stuff basically caused this thing 
to wiggle back and forth so much and it fatigued the metal and snapped and my chainsaw was dangling. Um, I'm not saying, you know, if you get this mount, that's going to be your, your problem because it's definitely not. I mean, it comes with like a steel mount, but again, this is how I made it work on my truck. So that's one mount. Okay. And this is another mount and I think it's the Mac daddy of all mounts. So I got this, um, at Expo West in 2022, I believe. Um, this is from a company called Max Tie Down Solutions, and it is a chainsaw scabbard, completely aluminum, just the sweetest, most robust mount. I think this thing was like a hundred bucks, um, maybe more. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was more, but it doesn't matter because it's not gonna break and it's just bomb proof. Um, Obviously, you know, you can mount this basically wherever there's a flat surface. Um, I had to notch mine out, as you can tell right there, to fit on my Backwoods Adventure Mods swing out right here. It just tucks up away in the, the void right there just perfectly. But, um, yeah, it's lockable. You can stick a lock right there if you want to. Basically, just spin this guy, and it compresses um, and sandwiches the, the blade here. And, obviously, the under side is open so you can fit a variety of different blade lengths in here um yeah max tie down solutions all aluminum super sweet if you just type in um chainsaw scabbard that's basically what this is the concept is a scabbard like a sword um, this is by far the most secure way of doing things um i'll show you i probably need two hands i'm gonna i'm gonna take this off and kind of get this in a position where i can show you how it mounts all right so i'm probably gonna fumble this on camera a little bit um yeah that's actually kind of heavy so goes in just like this slips down and it's nice because i have this jerry can holder that kind of um, supports the weight of the front end of the motor and stuff so it's right there and then you just get this guy and basically tighten it down it's super easy and it's uh, not fully seated because I did it with one hand and it's whatever. But once this is like perfectly in, it is not moving and it is it is totally sweet. So that's what it looks like. It's nice and out of the way. I'm sure there's a few other mount solutions out there, but like I said, this is this is the most robust um, one that I've come across. Um, if you guys have found a different way, let me know. I know that they make, you know, those fully encased plastic ones, but usually you like throw that in the back of a bed. There's nothing like hard mounted on the exterior of the, of the vehicle, but this way, I just, I just love this one, you know, and you, you take it out and it's basically non notice or not noticeable. So love this mount. Let me know if you guys uh, have another solution out there besides that one in the coal pin mount. Lastly, we can talk a second about um, actual chainsaws themselves and, you know, battery versus, um, gas powered, all that kind of stuff. I don't really want to spend a ton of time and split hairs, but I am a gas powered guy. I, I don't know. There's something just like old school and pure about putting gas in here, you know, lubing up the chain. Um, I don't know. And I've actually used this at like 12,000 feet when I was camping in Colorado, uh, maybe 10,000. I can't remember, but cutting up firewood, this thing, you know, with the carburetor and stuff in my case, still worked fine um you know i know that altitude kind of messes with these carburetors and stuff but uh i did fine you know this worked great for me i carry the little funnel here and here's some bar oil right here and then um, i don't keep it in the truck but i usually uh, bring some of this moto mix um, stuff and chunk that in the back of the truck it's just easier you know i don't use that much fuel it's just easier to carry that instead of mix my own fuel and all that so um a battery one you know i know a lot of guys that run battery saws that's fine i i don't really care to run battery i mean the cold affects batteries um you need to have a pretty solid solution of charging the battery you need to buy multiple batteries i don't know man i like i'm not going to argue with people who who do the electric route i'm just i guess more of a purist i like the gas i like the sound you know like um i don't know it's it's kind of weird cutting something with an electric saw. You know, I'm, I'm definitely not a guy who's gonna be running a Tesla or anything like, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know, I'm rambling for sure. But uh, this is great. 
and actually I don't think I mentioned it, this is a steel MS-170. This is a, a pretty basic saw. Um, it's very small, you know, I don't need anything huge or like a super high end. I don't need like, you know, a professional tree trimmers saw or whatever. So yeah, that's my experience with this thing. Um, I bought a used one from a pawn shop, rebuilt it and it still was junked up. So I just bought a whole new one and yeah, I've been using this for maybe a year or so, but, um, yeah, I like it. I'm actually curious. What do you guys run? If you do this, do you do electric or gas and why? Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to ever convert, but I'm just curious. All right. Lastly, I wanted to show you guys what this thing looks like all kind of packed up and stowed away. So there it is. You can see I have, I don't know, a good two, three, two and a half fingers, um, away from that. So looks really good. It fits really nice. And, uh, yeah, it works in my case. Like I said, not everybody's going to need a, need a chainsaw. Um, but if you do, this is an awesome solution. So yeah, if y'all made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. Interesting fun fact I found, uh, I think it's like 85 ish percent or something like that of viewers of my channel and my videos are not subscribed. Insane. Blows me away. So if you guys would um, hit the subscribe button, that helps me a lot. It keeps me motivated to actually make these videos. Um, Cause again, I do this on the side just totally for fun, you know? So anyway, it gives me mo motivation to do some more, but uh, yeah, y'all have a good day and uh, we'll see you in the next one.